Hi, I'm Georgia. Hi, Georgia. You're just about to come to the end of your BTEC in performing arts, um, in acting at Birmingham Theatre School and Joseph Jenkins College. Um, and tell me a little bit about the background, because you came from a slightly different educational route, didn't you? Yeah, I was homeschooled for quite a few years. What does that mean? For the um, well, I you just don't go to school? Yeah, I wasn't in mainstream education, so okay. everything that I wanted to learn I taught myself, and then I took two GCSEs before I went in to do my level two, before I came here. And where did you do the level two at college? Uh, yes, Sandwell and Dudley. Right, so you spent the vast majority of your up to GCSEs at home yeah. and then went into college. How was that transition between home and college? I thought it would be a lot harder than it was because mm. um, my sister has quite an issue with authority, whereas mm. I don't. So her going back into school now is slightly different mm. to me going into college. Okay, so you came to us um, having had a little bit of taste of college. Yeah. Um, have you enjoyed your two years with this? I have. I, I thought it would be a lot stricter than okay. it is. There is lots of discipline involved, but it's not as regimented, which is what I was scared of coming mm. back into the mainstream education. So have you enjoyed that part of sort of the connection really with yeah. other people? Yeah. Because sometimes it's been you're not the first homeschooled uh, student we've had, and actually quite a few have gone on to very successful uh, outcomes both in, on their BTEC and beyond that. So let's talk a bit about the BTEC itself. So the highlights for you? Oh, what lovely war. Really? With, without a doubt, I was the Master of Ceremonies, the MC. I was in it for the entirety of the two and a half hours. So you had to learn a lot of information. There was a lot of information going Facts, in. Facts, figures and details. Yeah. And if you got them wrong? Oh, God. Just it would be <laughs> obvious. It would have been so okay. obvious. Singing and dancing as well. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. So that you was... were involved as a, a sort of part of the vaudeville team, yeah. which involved quite a series of complex dance routines, and then also obviously some singing as well within yes, it. Yes, and then popping in and out of characters throughout the play as well. And it was sort of promenadial in the sense that it happened around. What, yeah. Tell me a bit about that. Um, well, the audience could be involved mm. if they wanted to, mm. or they could sit back and watch, which was really interesting from an acting point of view, because you could pinpoint the people who really did want to be involved mm -hmm. and you can play off that All right. whereas in a normal situation with audience on one side and actors on the other you don't really get that interaction okay and you're coming to the end uh, in the next two yes. weeks sadly uh, and you're about to graduate doing a production of our country's good yes. and the character you're playing in john Ascot. he's a convict um bit of a mad one problems with authority so there's lots of interaction between the convicts and the officers. And what are you hoping to go on to do next? I'm off to Australia for a year. i um, got to go and talk to the woman who owns the Melbourne Theatre Company. So see if I can get involved. Certainly not the traditional route. <laughs> never that traditional. would never be <laughs> Georgia if it wasn't that. And finally, Georgia, if there was a piece of advice that you'd want to give somebody, what would it be? Don't be scared to put yourself forward. If you've got a skill or something that you enjoy doing, the worst that's going to happen is you're going to be told, not now. So don't be scared to put yourself forward. Fantastic. Well, we wish you all the best with Our Country's Good and also the uh, opportunities that await you in Australia. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.